So let's continue with our definitions before we move on to the tree implementations. Um, and and uh, look at the depth and the height of a node. Depth, you could also refer to it as a level. So every node uh, has a depth and a height associated with it. So if we were to look at this particular example of a tree, and we were to try to determine the height and depth of every single node in that tree. So let's start with the leaf nodes, for example. Let's start with this node in particular, and try to get its uh, uh, depth first. The depth would be defined by looking upwards. You would have to find the path, uh, the length from the root node to that particular node you're examining. So in this case, it, we would be separated from the root node by two steps. So we say that the depth is, or level, is two. And it's easy actually to visualize. This would be level zero, this would be level one, this is level two. Um, now as to the height, all leaf nodes have a height of zero. Because you look downwards, there's nothing underneath you. You are the lowest uh, element in the tree, so your height is zero. And similarly for this node, it would have a depth of zero, height, uh, uh, sorry, a depth of two and a height of zero. Now if we looked at this node, the, the level as we said here is one. We are separated from the root node by one step. And its height would be one as well, because we are separated from our uh, lowest leaf by a step of one. And as to this one, the level would again be one. But be careful, the height, since this one is actually a leaf node itself, it would be zero. There's nothing underneath it. So the height would be zero. Now as to the root node, the level is always defined as being zero. And the height, we look at the maximum length. So this is important. The maximum length from this node to the leaf, to a leaf. Now this is a leaf itself, and the path, the length would be one. But these are leaves too, and we'd have to go downwards when we find out that the depth uh, the height in this case is 2, because we are separated from a leaf by a maximum distance of 2. There you have 1 and 2. So this is height and depth of a node. Um, when we talk about the height of a tree, we're actually referring to the height of the root node. So in this case, it would be 2. Um, an ancestor uh, and a descendant is basically uh, the existence of a path between two nodes. So this node would be the ancestor of that node and that node and that node because there are you need, you know, you're, there are actually paths that that allows us to go from one node to the other, and and descendant could be similarly defined. So now let's get to the interesting part, which is uh, the implementation of a tree. A tree, of course, is a, an abstract data type. How are we going to implement it is is up to us. To, to uh, talk about the implementation, we're going to have to determine two things. First, how are we going to uh, represent the child nodes? This is going to be an important aspect. Now, if we, if we have a binary tree, a binary tree is defined as uh, having a maximum of two children. Every node has a maximum of two children. You can't have more than two children, so this won't be allowed in a binary tree. If we're talking about a binary tree, then all we need is two reference variables for the children. So it would be just like in a list, a list we had a previous reference and a next reference, but this time instead of having only one next, we would have another next. So we would have next one and next two. And this would be the first child and the second child. And similarly, for every single node, we would have a previous and a next. So the previous would be the parent, and the next, next one would be the first child, next two would be the second child. Now this is in terms of binary trees. When we're talking about... Um, a tree which, which could have multiple children, we could use a, an implementation that is called first child next sibling. So the first child next sibling implementation basically consists of having one pointer that will point to the first child. So suppose this was our tree. I'm just, just going to draw it here. So suppose this was our tree and we wanted to represent that particular node, we wanted to implement it. Then what we would do is we would have a reference to that first node and then we would have some sort of list, a linked list, an array, or even just references ourselves to the next sibling. So the first child reference, and then each one would have references to the next sibling. So these won't really exist in the implementation, but instead we will have something like that, and this will be pointing to null. So when you want to traverse all the, 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 the children of a, sing, a particular node, you would first go to its first child reference, and then you would use the next sibling references of that child. So next sibling, and then this one would also have a next sibling, and next sibling, and so on and so forth, until you hit null. And then you know that you've actually hit, you've actually been through all the children of that particular node. Uh, we'll see exactly how this translates in Java.